There's a reason for Tommy's newfound enthusiasm for firearms. Sooner or later, in the unlicensed boxing world, you're gonna have to deal with that reason. Brit Tom. If that's not worth a bet, I don't know what is. He doesn't look bad, does he? Oh no, Mr. Parkwood, he looks great. It do you proud, Governor. You reckon that's what people should do for me, do you, Gary? Do me proud? That's what you deserve, Mr. Parkwood. Pull your tongue out of my arsehole, Gary. Dogs do that. You're not a dog, are you, Gary? Uh, no. No, I'm not. However, you do have all the characteristics of a dog, Gary. All except loyalty. It's rumoured that Brittop's favourite means of dispatch involves a stun gun, a plastic bag, a roll of tape, and a pack of hungry pigs. You're a ruthless little cunt, Liam, I'll give you that. But I've got no time for grasses. Feed them to the pigs, Errol. What the fuck are you two looking at? We've lost gorgeous George. Shh. You're going to have to repeat that. We've lost gorgeous George. Well, where'd you lose him? He ain't a set of fucking car keys, is he? And it's not as if he's income fucking spicuous now, is it? Not back in out. You bet your bollocks to a barn dance you're not backing out. We're changing a fighter. Oh, fuck me. Your lady friend got a voice. And who might you be changing him to, sweetheart? You won't know him, but he's mustard. Mustard? I don't care if he's Mohammed, Imard, Bruce Lee. You can't change fighters. Look. You've still got your fight. No, I lose all bets at the bookies. You can't change fighters at the last minute. So no, I don't have my fight, do I, you fucking prat? You can take bets at the fight. Put a lead on her, Turkish, before she gets bitten. And you don't want to get bitten now, do you, sweetheart? Make sure your man goes down in the fourth. You understand me now, don't you, Turkish? This is the one place I didn't want to be, in his debt. Which now means I'm in his pocket. You're on thin fucking ice, my pedigree chums. And I shall be under it when it breaks. Now fuck off. <coughs> Goody gumdrops. Get us a cup of tea, would you, Errol? Grab hold of his legs. What do you think I'm going to grab him by? His fucking ears. Hope this is not a bad moment. Do you know who I am? I do. Good. That will save me some time, then. Well, I don't. You're always going to have problems lifting a body in one piece. Apparently, the best thing to do is cut up a corpse into six pieces and pile it all together. Would someone mind telling me? Who are you? And when you've got your six pieces, you've got to get rid of them. Because it's no good leaving it in a deep freeze for your mum to discover now, is it? Then I hear the best thing to do is feed them to pigs. You've got to starve the pigs for a few days. Then the sight of a chopped up body will look like curry to a piss head. You've got to shave the heads of your victims and pull the teeth out for the sake of the pig's digestion. You could do this afterwards, of course, but you don't want to go sieving through pig shit now, do you? They will go through bone like butter. You need at least 16 pigs to finish the job in one sitting, so be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. They will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about eight minutes. That means that a single pig can consume two pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. 
Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. Well, thank you for that. That's a great weight off my mind. Now, I mean, if you wouldn't mind telling me who the fuck you are, apart from someone who feeds people to pigs, of course. Do you know what nemesis means? A righteous infliction of retribution manifested by an appropriate agent. Personified in this case by an honourable cunt. Me. Gentlemen, 